Hello everybody and welcome to Legend of Dragoon Part 4. In the last episode we broke into Helena Prison and now we're going to continue through to try to find Shauna. Just to let you know, you'll have to visit this place at least twice because unfortunately there's some things you can't get right now. And yes, you had to come there and fight that merchant, otherwise you wouldn't be able to pass through. Oh, and speaking of fights, despite that red marker, this is the only place that's an exception to that rule, because the random encounters here only happens if the guards catch you. They have to literally spot you and catch you. Which, unfortunately, that is not going to happen. Anyway, we're just exploring through this place. Oh, there's something here. So, let's climb up the elevator. So we're just going Salt Snake style. But there are some parts where you have to at least fight the guards. Not just for the sake of leveling up your additions, but for the sake of advancing plot. Like right now, for instance. Move quicker! Ah, uh, here we go. Move quicker! No, I don't want to move quicker. Stop poking me. You have such bad luck, you will regret not being killed on the battlefield. What do you mean? Uh-oh. You believe you can really live comfortably in this jail? Head Warden Frugal will lead you will feed you to the monster. Ah oh, shit, does he have a rancor? Please tell me he doesn't have a rancor. Feed us to the monster, I won't let you humiliate us anymore! I'm kinda tough tough when you're s standing there with your hands tied behind your back. Oh, feisty feisty, it's the worst kind of prisoner of war, but the best kind of feed. If you want to kill me, kill me now! That's called bravado. I won't let him! And now for the most badass character in this game. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Lavitz! Sir Lavitz! You! You bastard! You broke out of jail! Silly guy! You think you can escape here alone? I'll take care of this! Survive and go back to Indy's castle! Alive! I don't think they will. These are cannon fodder troops. Tell King Albert! Man, he kicked them in the nuts! I won't let you! Damn! I took care of those guys. Look how awesome Lavis is! Is this Civil War? You! Who are you? Oh, this should be fun. Are you a dog of Basil too? Oh, who are you calling the dog? Watch me knock you off the cliff! Wow! Lavin's got some mad land skills! Who are you? I just got asked that. I am Dart. I am not your enemy! I am Lavin Slambert. I am the head of the first knighthood of the kingdom of Basil. Oh, well it seems we don't have time for introductions. No we don't. Well, here we go, our first scripted battle here. This really isn't a boss battle, but technically a scripted random encounter, if you will. Well, one of these guys weren't as bad as three of them. But thankfully, now we have a new party member. Meet Lavitz. As I said before, he is the most badass character out of this game, and those who's played this game will eventually grow attached to him. And for those who've already played this game, please don't spoil it for everybody else who watches. But I dare say this, Lavitz is one of those characters, despite his badassery, he has a good personality. 
And that's the kind of person you actually would like. Not saying he's a Mary Sue and all, but still! That would be blasphemy to call him that. I would dare say he's a flushed out character, much like Dart. But I will say this about Lavitz. Lavitz's combos are... How do you say... Quicker than Dart's. His later combos, most definitely. Anyway... Another thing you need to know about Lavitz... Lavitz is a wind-based character. And as you know, wind-based is weak against Earth. And vice versa. So if he runs into an Earth enemy, Lavitz would be royally screwed. Depending on his defense, that is. I will carry out your wish. Those poor guys fed to the Rancor. You said, Dart, I cannot imagine that there is somebody who intentionally come to Helena. What are you up to? I'm here to rescue somebody important to me. Man, I sound like a pet actor. I gotta do something better. Do you know about her? Her name is Shauna. I am sorry, bud. I'll look elsewhere. That's not a wise idea, Dark. Wait! I'll go with you. I thought you had to go back to the castle as soon as possible. How the fuck is he gonna get out of the castle? She's in port, this girl you're looking for. <clears throat> No, seriously, how are they going to get out of the castle with these many guards? It's my problem. It was my fault. I don't know what brought you here, but Helena is not an easy... Not that easy to go through alone. Well, with one guy it's not. With two, yes! That goes for me, too. Let's see... But I can break from here together with you. All right. Of course, with the girl. So now Lavitz is permanently a party member on our team for now. Epic foreshadowing. How come you trust me? We just met. The way you made was quite impressive. I trust you to guard my back. That's the way I think. Hell, you know, anybody can raid a prison easily. All right, let's go together. Okay. Let's search some of these cells here, because some of these cells may have some items. Nothing? Okay. Whoa! Don't want to be caught. Let's search here. Is there something of interest here? Ooh, Sparknet. And yes, there's somebody in Helena Prison. This is basically where the Sanduran troops keep people who they intend on torturing or feeding to the Rancor. And yes, well, I'm not giving too many spoilers, but there is a Rancor-like creature down there, so... Just to let you know, it is what you think. All you Star Wars fans out there knows about the Rancor. Anyway, let's sneak through the guards. Well, in some cases, you want the guards to catch you. Like right here, for instance. You want the guards to catch you so you can progress through plot. But the guards here are basically 12 HP, so there's no reason to worry. But I do want to warn you, the Helena prison guards all have 
well, Wardens, basically, all have lightning elementals to throw at you. Just bear that in mind. And Lavitz has a higher defense than Dart, and a higher magic defense than Dart, so Lavitz could take much punishment, much more punishment than Dart. Anyway... Where we need to go is not here. God, it's locked. But we need to go right over here. Alright. Let's not attract these guards because for now, they are basically guarding any entrances that you may want to try to go to. But instead, go up here, which is why security is so damn lax. This room is extra tightly guarded. I call bullshit because look what's shining! What about this key? Take it with us. We'll need it if the girl is called- if the girl called Shauna is under confinement. And with that, we've got Shauna's cell key, which was blatantly left standing right there while the guards are guarding every other entrance. But why only that girl? Yes, why only that girl? I intend to ask that directly to the head warden. But that's after we rescue Shauna. Now then! Let us go downstairs and let us save this game, or for the most part, let us get ready to rescue Shauna, and we will be doing that in part 5. This is RBMan985, I'll see you guys when we rescue Shauna, and hopefully get out of this place. Peace out.